Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you for joining me and if you're new to my channel, well thank you for stopping by. So today I am going to do a reveal and um, share with you what I recently got. This is called the MCM Vanity Rockstar. As you can see, it's in gold hardware and if you can sort of see compared to my hand, it's not a huge bag. As a matter of fact, I'll go over some of the measurements right now. So basically from here to here, the width is eight inches and it's four inches deep and it's about four and a half inches tall. So I have a pochette accessoire right here and I want to just kind of show you in comparison what they look like. See, this is the pochette accessoire and the MCM uh, Rockstar Vanity or Vanity Rockstar looks like that. See that? It's a lot deeper. But in terms of the width, the accessoire is a lot, pochette accessoire is a lot wider. See that? Okay. So as you can see, it's not a huge bag, but um, it's a great bag, it holds a lot. But before I purchased this, this particular one, I wanted to show you what was out there that was similar to this kind of shape, which I was drawn to. Um, so there's this Chanel vintage bag right here. Um, and then another one. Now these pi this picture shows the Chanel vanity uh, case purses. I think this is the medium size or the large, I'm not sure, but I've seen the medium and the small one at the store and they were a little, the medium one was a little too big in terms of the way it looked on me. I was going for a small look and the small the was a little too small. It didn't fit my phone. And on top of that, the strap was not detachable on the Chanel vanity cases. Um, let me see. As you can see, the pricing of these Chanel vanity cases, um, it's, oops, let me see, that's fashion file also. See how it looks big on the body, and that's not the look that I was going for, but basically the price is anywhere from 4,500, the smaller one being around 35, 4,000 to 5,000 and up. So these are not cheap, and this wasn't actually the real silhouette that I was going for. So this bag is pretty small, but when you open it, it's got the two zippers. When you open it, you'll be surprised to see how much it could fit. So I have my sunglasses in there and my reading glasses in there. Um, full size wallet, Josephine wallet goes in there. So for a small bag such as this, it's really nice to be able to just kind of take it in and take it out. So my six key holder is in there, my clay is in there, a mirror is stuck in the little pocket, I have card or my card organizer in there, and I have my pochette access, mini pochette in there. And so this is basically what it looks like when it's empty. You have this elasticized pocket, it's pretty tight. And this inside is lined in suede, and it feels really, really soft. Um, and the zipper, because this is an older model where it doesn't have the band, like right here, how there's that band, it opens completely wide like this. I can even go backwards like that, right? Whereas before, the older model, it had a stopper. I'll show you. It had a stopper right there. It's a leather stopper that is attached to these rivets on the sides. And because of that, the bag and also because of the way the zipper was placed right here it wouldn't open completely so what it would do is with the stopper the leather stopper in place it would open about this much and initially i thought that would be a good thing because then you know when i'm cross bodying it things wouldn't open the bag wouldn't open too wide and everything just you know spill out and i thought you know when i first looked at that bag that that would be beneficial. But in actuality, when I brought it home, it was so frustrating to open the bag like this and try to reach into it. One of the beauties of this bag is that 
it's wide open and it's easily accessible. And because of the stopper, it opened like this. And when you undid the stopper, what would happen is because of the little leather strip that goes all the way around, it still wouldn't open all the way, but it would just kind of open like this like this, which was very frustrating for me. For some of you out there, maybe that's not even a problem. You know, you might even prefer the little stopper model. But for me, I preferred the older version with no, nothing in there. Plus, I feel like because this is still a smaller bag, that all the interior space for me was premium. So I didn't want anything sticking out to get in the way of, let's say, putting in my wallet, you know, like if I happen to be placing it like this, it would get in the way and it might ruin the glazing of the wallet. So that's another point to consider when you're choosing which one. If you decide you want to go ahead and get one of these bags, you know, consider whether you want the older model or the newer model. The newer model seems like the black one only comes in silver hardware, where the older model only comes in gold hardware and it doesn't have the leather stopper. Okay, so it also comes in the champagne color. See how beautiful that is? But I really want this color too, but that strip I know is gonna be in the way of opening and closing and gonna be bothering me. So I'm still thinking about it though because I really love this bag and its functionality and the style. Um, the way it looks on me, I took some photos. It was set at the longest setting, see that? So that's kind of like the way it looked on me. And I'm five, three and a half. So even though this is a small bag, it fits quite a bit. And it's very, very cute. And um, one of the other reasons that I really, really loved about this bag is the shape of this handle. It is just so beautiful. It's got this. So it initially doesn't look like it could hold a strap. But this one flips up like this. And it comes with a detachable strap and you can put it on there and this detachable strap is adjustable the um, the longest length is 49 and 3 quarters of an inch and its drop length is 25 inches at the shortest length it's 43 inches long and it has a 22 inch drop length. So for people like me out there who only need to take essentials on a daily basis, I feel like this is a very good bag. And because this is made out of coated, it's not leather, it's coated canvas probably. I think it's coated canvas. I'm not really familiar with MCM because um, this is the first time owning an MCM product. I am not a big fan of MCM products, but this particular design drew me because of the way it looked. It's like a vintage -y feel. It kind of looks like a Louis Vuitton Nice um, BB, the vanity case from Louis Vuitton. It kind of looks like that, but this has an actual crossbody clasp on each side, so I don't have to mess with the handle. Also, it's very bulky and big. It's bulky, and I didn't want anything bulky. I wanted something small that could fit all my essentials that I could wear in the blizzard, in torrential rain. I need a very hearty bag. And I always go for bags that I can wear all the time, that I don't have to worry about color transfer, which is another reason why I chose this color versus any other colors that uh, MCM offers in this design. It, they come in this color, gray, uh, cognac, and champagne. Champagne is beautiful, but I doubt I'll get it because I'm afraid of color transfer and it doesn't open all the way because it's a newer version. But anyway, thank you so much and I appreciate you guys visiting me. And I want to thank especially to a great friend of mine. I met her from the purse forum and you know who you are. <laughs> I did this especially for you because you wanted to know how this bag functions and what it fits and what it looks like. So I hope you enjoyed this video and for everybody else out there, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you enjoyed it, give it your thumb up, your thumb up and subscribe and push that notification bell if you want to. Okay. 
Oh, I forgot to mention how it hangs on the body when it's on crossbody. And carry this crossbody on my left side like this. I'm right-handed. And so when I'm opening the bag, like so, this handle kind of acts as a stopper against my body. And so it just kind of opens like this against my body. And this back right here um, rests against my body. So it doesn't... I, initially, I was afraid that it, everything would just kind of tilt and fall out. I don't know why, but it doesn't do that. The handle is almost like a stopper. And so it just kind of opens like this against the body and I can see everything in it and I'll be able to take things out and close it. And for ease of use, I just close my bag like this most of the time when I'm carrying it and it still looks good and open it. And sometimes I even have, so sometimes I even have it closed, only, only one zipper closed about right here. And so depending on which side I want to use, I just open one and it's open. And I don't even have to deal with this or the other way like this. So then it's closed like that. So it just depends on your need and how you'd like to wear your bag, but I usually cross body and there has been no problem um, with stuff falling out or not being able to reach in when I'm wearing it. So it's a very handy and easy bag to use. So I just thought I'd share that with you guys. Okay, so thank you again and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.